Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Romani's going to take our milk to Clock Town, too! You're looking after the place. The cows will be all alone otherwise. Yes, yeah, sister. Boy, get your bow ready. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, I don't want... Get... Yeah, I don't need you. Get... You go back. Seriously. You hurry up and get out, too. Jeez, bossy. Uh, oh, excuse me. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. Hey guys, long time no see once again. This is Silent Senior 9, and we're back with more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We are ready, finally, hello, took us long enough, to head off in the western portion of the map. However, before we do that, there are a few things I need to do and stock up, so I'll probably show bits and pieces of what I do um, in cut increments, and then from there we'll go ahead and head toward the west gate of south of clock time, rather. So, see you guys in a sec. Oops, excuse me. Okay, so here in the trading post shop, I remember saying that there was this, this scarecrow was here, of course, and I actually want to go ahead and give him a song. And he functions the same way that he did in the last game, where if you play a song in a particular spot, he will show up. Oh, let me hear a song you wrote on that, baby! Alright, let's see if I can do this right. Yeah, I know, I'm so unoriginal, I'm uncreative, but for the t sake of time, I figured I'd go ahead and get that going and rolling with that, something I could remember. Yo! Oh yeah, that's a nice tune, baby! If you say so, I, I don't hold credit to it. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate time. Or the flow of time, rather. Do you want to learn it? No, 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 that's alright. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. If you'd like to see me again, play that song you just played for me, baby! See you later, baby! Alright, Lieutenant Surge, calm down with that business. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next bit I have to do. Okay, here are the Deku Swamp. I'm actually here to pick up a... See, uh, one magic bean, actually. That's what I want. If I got this right. Do you need it, eh? Sure thing. You got the magic beans. Yay. Thanks again. Sure thing, dude. Okay, uh, I'll meet you guys near some spring water, so I'll see you there. Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you, Swamp Tour Center. Sure thing. Sounds like a plan. Unlike I did in the Deku Kingdom. I'll make sure I do it this time, guys. Seriously. Alrighty, well, I think that's pretty much all I needed to do, so I'll see you guys back in Clock Town, so see you there. Alrighty, we're back in Clock Town. Sorry about that weird, like, whoa, what's he doing? What is he doing all these tasks for? In good time, I promise you guys, they'll all make sense, but I'm gonna advise you to pick up a magic bean, some spring water, and I'll go ahead and show it. You don't need to, but I like use. I'm gonna be using a lot of magic in this next area, so I figured I'd get some green potion cheap while I can. You can get it at the trading post for 30 rupees. I also went ahead and maxed out my arrows, picked up a couple Deku sticks, Deku nuts, just for kicks and giggles. And that was pretty much all I did. Of course, I did the usual where I go get the 100 rupees from each of the chests, but that was about it. So, nothing fancy. Oh, stop, right there. Oh, wait, uh, have you an arrow at the ocean? Er, um, it, it, it's dangerous outside. Yeah, the ten walls. So I, I, I truly can't allow a child like you to... Uh, uh, oh, a sword. Uh, oh, oh, my apologies. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. Oh, oh dear me. Uh, well, at the Great Bay, you can see clear to the ocean. It lies this way. P please, p do be careful. Will do. Sorry, I figured I'd give him a different personality instead of the strong, I'm a hard butt guard, you know, personality. I probably didn't agree with you, some, some of you, but, yeah, well. Experimentation is part of voicing sometimes, you know? Okay, so, toward the west, of course, you'll find that we went down this little slope and into this little beach area. And, I'm gonna, hopefully... Okay, there she is. Hey, Apana, how you do? Ooh, yuck, what is this? What is it, Tattle? Yeah, 
I don't know, but it needs to just get away from me because I don't want it. Oh, great. It, yeah, the, these guys actually will just keep coming and coming at you like the freaking Terminator. So my advice is just to run. Now, as you can see right here, this little fence that was... Ow, ow, dude, seriously? You know what? Get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Um, this fence right here was the reason we couldn't get over it. Get over the wall, rather. So what we have to do is we have to use a pawn. Hopefully I can do this right. Okay, cool. We can use a pawn to jump fences. So that was the only way we could have gotten to the West Bay. That's why I had to do the Romani Ranch business and get an Apana. So here we are. Great Bay. Woohoo. Wow. The Great Bay Coast. Out to sea, baby. Nice. Maybe we'll find SpongeBob. Or maybe the uh, Princess of King Triton. Uh, Ariel, who knows? Who knows what all we'll find? Maybe we'll run it into One Piece's ship or Shonen's ship or whatever you want to call it. The either the Going Merry or what it's, I guess, yeah, I'll spoil it. What it's called now, the Sun, Thousand Sunny or whatever it is. But anyway, I won't go into too much detail. Some of you may not have seen that series that far. And let me go ahead and check out the sign here. See what this says. They put signs up for a reason besides cutting them, of course. Danger! Keep out! Swimming is prohibited due to murky water. Ooh, that's not good. Wow, check it out. We got like a giant, funky looking house with a hook on it. One of our pirates in there. There's Tangle way up there. Some seagulls. I can s well, look like there were seagulls up there. Some kind of funky, pointy, looks like sharp teeth. Like maybe there's some sharks in there, I don't know. Or something. Couple of pinnacle thing sticking out of the ground. Maybe there's like a it's like a gate entrance to something. You got some kind of funky looking rock thing over there. It looks like a giant turd or whatever. Actually, you know what? You know what it looks like? It looks exactly like somebody's going help me! And they're reaching out of the water and it's just like a giant wooden thing anyway. So I gotta stop being stupid. You'll notice right here, there's a flock of seagulls kind of flocking around. It looks like something's floating out there, that white-looking thing. So maybe I should go check that out. Maybe it's somebody that needs some help. So let's go do that right now, shall we? Whoa. Somebody. Please. Got me to shore. To shore. Oh my gosh, sure, dude. Come on, come here, hold on. Yeah, this is the only time you'll be able to do this. This is kind of interesting, actually, if I can get behind his booty. I don't think you need to get behind him exactly. There we go, okay. The only time you can grab onto somebody and actually swim with them. It's kind of new. Something interesting and unique. Poor guy. Yeesh, what happened to your arm, dude? Looks like somebody bit it off or cut it, one of the two. I don't know. Maybe it's just part of the design, but it looks like somebody was, like, slicing and dicing him. Okay, maybe that's a tattoo. Dude, should you be walking if you were, like, floating out at sea ready to die? Maybe you should, like, just lay down. Man. You look like you're, like, hung over. Seriously, like, you partied hard. Party hardy. Well, they reached land. Oh, oh. Clump. Wow. Poor dude. Goodness, what happened to you, man? What? Seriously, where's the party? Uh, 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 on my gate, there's all the people <coughs> get tossed in the Zor band. I think this is it for my, my final message, dude. Uh, we listen to it. <coughs> ah, sure, why not? Might as well. Poor guy. Good lord, I just cleared my throat. One. Two, one, two, three. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones they're waiting to see. Oh, but that girl, that girl, that girl, a vocalist. She laid some strange eggs. And she says she's lost her voice. You can't hear what she says. Okay, she, I didn't say what she says, because otherwise that would sound weird. Whoa, in the Great Bay, now something is a-happening, is it now? Is it? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me, I don't wanna beg Garuda Pirates to stole that girl's eggs. Ew. Thieves. 
I went to stuff the Garuda Pirates, the Empower and the Bam, and I got knocked down, and here I am. Oh, baby, baby, if I die like this, even if I die, I won't be in peace. Oh, baby, that's for sure. Somebody, please, rescue her aid for the pirates take the toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please, heal my soul. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Oh, punk. <laughs> wow. Way to go. Out in style, dude. I think that red text that said heal my soul was evident enough, so let's see if we can help him with like we did the Dar Darmani, actually. And the song of healing does its magic wonders. Yay. Excuse me a sec while I take a sip of my tea. having zero gravity, man. So we'll get to see his memories just like we saw Darmani's when we played his song. <laughs> like our song is the sound of slamming mean, screen doors sneaking out through the front. Oh, wait, no. This is Taylor Swift. Wow. Is that Lulu? Dang, dude. You nailed a luck. You, you, uh, fished yourself up a lucky one. She's a beaut. Oh, wow. Must be the band. Very nice. So that skeletal thing is a f like a guitar anyway. Oh, that's nice. Cute. Look at them walking hand in hand. That's a bummer, man, that he has to go die like this. Row. I almost said row. <laughs> like I'm Scooby. Row! Thank you! Anyway. Ah, so we got his mask here. Well, I guess we'll, uh... Have to carry your soul, dude. We got the Zora mask! You got Zora's mask. Maiku, the legendary guitarist, is now within your hands. Wear the mask to inhabit his body. Of course. Just like Darmani. Wow. Call my, my farewell soul on my grave. I'm, I'm dependent on you to help that singer girl, mate. Totally, man. I mean, seriously. After all you went through, just to give us the last adieu song? Seriously. Wow. Huh. So that's what their insides look like. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Bless your soul, dude. If you check his uh, gravestone, he'll tell you a little bit about it, but I can probably just do it just as quickly in action and kind of demonstrate it. No. No, thank you. Oh, I still got hurt. Jerk off. Here, that's for your buddy hurting me. Let's go ahead and check out this little hut here. It looks kind of suspicious. Let's go ahead and see if there's some information we can fish out of it. Fisherman's hut. Rare fish inside. Oh, really? Let's check out this rare fish, shall we? Wow, look at that. Hi, fisherman. How you doing? Uh, I've been catching fish in these seas for 30 years. When it comes to catching fish, I'm even better than the Zoras. <laughs> oh, but uh, that's what I'd like to be saying anyway. Lately, the seawater has gotten really warm. It hasn't helped any fishing at all. What, did somebody pee in it? Ew, gross. And what's worse, this water's gotten murky, so when my ship... When I ship out, I always lose my way and somehow end up back at the shore. Uh, we fishermen and even the fish are in a real predicament. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, this must be the fish. Help me! Please take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock! Oh, are you interested in that fish? It's a real fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse! Oh, I can see that, genius. Jeez. I caught it swimming around here, just off of Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it at the town carnival, which should be starting soon. If you want, I'll give it to you on one condition. Oh, great. What's your condition? Do you have a pictograph picture of uh, one of the female pirates? No, what do you need that for? 
-hmm. Seriously, what do you need it for? What's this? Uh, I guess I don't have one after all. Or you don't have one after all, which means I don't get to have one. Uh, technically, I do have a pictograph of a female pirate, but it's all blurry and it's not that great. An all-important face? I can't see it very well. Oh, the all-important face, okay. So basically, we gotta see the face of the pirate when we take the picture. Any good picture of a pirate will do, even a snapshot of a god. Can't you help me out? I might be able to help you out, give you some fappable material there, sir, but uh, that'll have to wait till a little bit later. Alrighty, so we've got some more information. I guess there's an area called Pinnacle Rock. I'm wondering if maybe that's that entrance over there. We're straight across there where those two rocks are. That wouldn't make sense to me. Excuse me, just swallowed again there. Good grief. Well, you probably won't even hear it, because I, I usually try to edit those out when I do like a swallow, like glonk. Like, seriously, I don't know why I just did that twice. Oh, this is kind of cool. I forgot to do this, didn't I? Ah! It was Zora! <laughs> that was probably obnoxious. <laughs> so, yeah, we can swim around as a Zora, for, as Zora length, and I'll get some more deep. Oh, well, we can hit your head on things, too. I'll get into more details probably as we go. But he's got a lot of cool things. Uh, that he can do, like, for example, he can punch, but when his punches are like this. You press B, he'll just, like, slice. If you do it in a combo, one, two, three, and then he just kicks. Kind of like how the Goron does a hut, hut, and then a booty shot. So, anyway, we're gonna take that off, slice the south statue here to mark our territory. Like we're puppy dogs. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment, because there was Tingle up top. I'm gonna go ahead and get an arrow here. And get ready to go ahead and aim and fire at will. Man, that's gonna be a long draw, dude. <gasps> Hope you got your parachute pants on. Oh crap, he didn't. Wow. You were a beast yourself, too, Tangle. Did anybody ever tell you that? What's this green coast, white fairy, sir? Could you by chance be a forest fairy? Yes, I. No, just. Whatever. Yes, I'm a forest fairy. We've gone through, been through, done that. Just give me my map, sir. Seriously. So we can donate to your father, who probably would prefer you not to go out in this outfit. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Weren't we friends already? Friends with benefits, except I'm the only one that's getting shafted and you're getting all the benefits. I'm buying your little crappy maps and you're... Oh, whatever, I'm not going to complain. Yippee! Yeah, let's go be happy about it. We got the Great Bay map. Woohoo! Now this map actually... Excuse me, I just swallowed again. Will actually prove to be quite helpful. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu, Limpa! These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. I already, I already took them and used them for my introduction, dude. What's your problem? I'll give you credit. Made by Tingle, you know, if I have to. But I don't see you filing any charges against me. Anyhow, so uh, let's go ahead and check out this house here. It looks like a pirate's in inside. Oh, Marine Research Lab. Okay. Researching water quality and marine life forms in the Great Bay. Gotcha, gotcha. I gotcha. All gotcha, I hear ya. Alrighty. Wow. Check out this lab, man. Almost as impressive as Dexter's laboratory, but not quite. Nice. Got the even some magic potions or whatever you got. Ooh, wow. Is that like your knife, dude? I swear, you must be a pirate or something. I mean, look at that face. Seriously. Oh, not that close. Good lord, he scares some children. Yeah, I mean, seriously, that if that's not a pirate face, I don't know what is. Maybe he's like a retired pirate. They're late! What are those Zoas doing? Hmm? What is it, boy? Did you also come to watch the Zoa eggs hatch? I'm excited about it, too, but those important eggs haven't arrived yet. It takes about one to three days for from the time the Zoa eggs are laid for them to hatch. But if they aren't kept in this aquarium until then, they may die. Oh no, that's not good. The reason for this is that the recent abnormal weather has caused the ocean temperature to rise in this region. I'm telling you, somebody must be peeing in the water. Seriously. Ugh. Zoa eggs are very sensitive to changes in the temperature. The only way the eggs can hatch is if they're placed in this aquarium water, which I set aside for them long ago. The Zoras are well aware of this, but they're still late! I wonder if something has happened at Zora Hall. Zora Hall, huh? Huh, very interesting. I reckon we'll have to head to Zora Hall before too long, but 
for now, unfortunately, this will be where we end off. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tail slap and ask question in the video. Do uh, I have anybody who owns a fish pet? And if you do, what's your favorite kind of fish? Actually, I'll change that. What's your favorite kind of fish, period? You can, it can be your favorite fish to eat, your favorite kind of fish to have for a pet, or just your favorite fish to fish for, and you don't have to eat or keep them. So, leave it in the comments. Thanks, guys, and peace out.